morning as the shutdown continues into the 34th day now. What happens if federal workers decide to just stop showing up at the airport? A worst case scenario, BNA becomes nothing more than a food court. Rebecca Schleicher joins us now with more on this. And Rebecca, I know you spoke to the folks vital to keeping those planes flying. Amy, right now they're doing it without pay. This weekend, the TSA reported 10% of their workforce called out sick. Now here in Nashville, you will still be able to get to your destination, but that's because people like Chris Grimes continue to go to work. Government shutdowns are always bumpy. Just ask Nashville air traffic controller Chris Grimes. Airport functions 24 7 365. But this time he says it's different. There's a greater level of uncertainty. When at first paycheck was missed, it I, I think it made it real for even the folks that have been in that long. Wow, I just missed a paycheck. This week, he's about to miss another one. Nashville International Airport says so far it hasn't seen any major impact to wait times or flight schedules, but staff know that could change any day. It's about people saying, you put me in a position to where I'm having to figure out how I'm going to keep the lights on. Air traffic controllers work for the FAA, but that's just one of three federal agencies that keep BNA running. There's the TSA for security and then U.S. Customs and Border Protection, which have to clear every international passenger that lands at BNA. It's sad. It's a sad state of affairs. It, Grimes not, is luckier than many. He has savings and a good support system. But in a growing city with a tower already short by more than a dozen certified controllers, the uncertainty has him and others facing a decision they never wanted to make. I know I, I'm doing this because I wanted to retire doing this, but maybe I need to look at other options. For now, he says he'll continue to show up his usual six days a week, 10 hours a day to keep the air around Nashville safe. Grimes is also working as the local union rep. He says there isn't one side he blames, saying they are both responsible for ending this.